Welcome to Mysterious Universe Plus, Season 27, Episode 3. Coming up on this show, we've got the Sadistic Spirit Guide, the biggest scam of the 20th century, and ecstatic oneness with Duck. I'm Benjamin Grundy, joining me is Aaron Wright. So you make them pay? She says, as I found myself concentrating on just one duck in the middle of the flock, I instantly was connected to just that one duck. And I knew all and everything about that one duck. I knew every life that duck had ever lived. I knew all the trauma, all the pains, all the excitement and all the happiness that duck had experienced in every life it had ever lived. It was like I was inside the duck. I was the middle of this duck, and the knowledge or that knowing was all around me, just like the body of the duck. And as I found myself inside that duck, (laughs) I was now the universe of knowledge inside that duck. (laughs) A huge, endless universe of space was now me. (laughs) It happens in so much (laughs) pain. <laughs> Are you okay? He's in so much pain. Oh, I have to keep going though, for the sake of the show. A huge, endless universe of space was now me inside the duck. It reminded me of the ending of the movie of Men in Black with Will Smith, <laughs> where the camera pans out to find the world is within a universe. And as it pans out more, the universe is now inside a marble on a game with an alien species playing marbles with all the different marbles. I felt that I was inside that duck, just like the universes inside those marbles. Oh, for Christ's sake. I could see (laughs) and to be inside the soul of that duck and we were one. (laughs) Duck and I forever as one. And I was not scared. I was not frightened by this. And I was not wanting to leave this duck. I wanted to know more, yet there was no more to learn as I had that knowing of everything everything in the space within the duck and in this total moment of acceptance I realized that I did not need a physical hug from this animal for I was the duck the duck is worse than the pigeon (gasps) it's beautiful (laughs) what a stupid bitch How can you go to heaven and just come across as the biggest douche of all time? (laughs) We get it. We got it when we were describing you being inside the lady. And this goes on for, like, I actually left parts out of that story. This is longer than what I just read. Are you kidding me? (laughs) She talks about the music, like she hears this tribal music playing when she first arrives in heaven. She says it's amazing. It's like instruments you've never heard before. And she turns around, she sees these mountains and the mountains are like, oh, no, no, no. 